a, quote, total witch hunt. Uh, he's mm -hmm. ag accusing the special counsel of ignoring crimes committed by the other side, as he wrote in a pair of tweets after he landed in Argentina yesterday. We're all left wondering where this goes next. What, what can you tell us? Well, you know, uh, as a member of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, we've really been watching uh, the special counsel Mueller do his work. We think he's done this in a methodical manner. Uh, he was given broad discretion, but the discretion was related to the Russia entanglement in our elections. And I think that's specifically where he's keeping to. Uh, we've seen with... Uh, different individuals who were involved in President Trump's campaign as well as his early administration have been entangled in this and it's our job as members of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee to continue watching that and to do our job our constitutional job which is to provide oversight over government operations as well as this administration and so I think you know I was a member of the Ashcroft Justice Department under President Bush where Mueller was the FBI director at mm -hmm. that time and I think he's done a fantastic job thus far. But of course, many of those uh, lawmakers who have supported this process and said, let it play out. Senator Kennedy has been one of them. He's saying this has gone on too long, 17 months. Let's, you know, be transparent with the American people on where this investigation stands. He said this yesterday. Well, well you know, I think my biggest concern in terms of the Mueller investigation, uh, well, let, let's get it all wrapped up. And it looks to me like the, there's some movement in terms of I don't want to tell Mr. Mueller how to do his job. Um, he doesn't need need uh, my counsel on that. He seems quite able. But we do need to wrap it up. It's been, what, 17 months now? And uh, the American people are entitled to know what happened and who, if anybody, broke the law. He respectfully says, I don't want to tell Mueller how to do his job here, but the American people deserve some answers on where this thing stands nearly two years sure. in. Sure. And I think that, you know, in terms of, I know this is a long period of time for a news cycle, but this is really not a long period of time in terms of a special prosecutor investigation, as we've seen other um, special prosecutors taking actually much longer without the kind of results that Mueller has been able to get in terms of the number of convictions that he has received thus far from individuals taking plea deals, um, pleading guilty to things that were, they were found guilty of. All right. And, and, and as far as yesterday's news with Michael Cohen showing up at that surprise appearance at a New York courthouse yesterday pleading guilty to this charge, misleading Congress, how does that change the course of the investigation before I move on? Um, you know, I think it doesn't change the course of the investigation. I think Mueller is going to do what he needs to. I know that there are members of Congress who are interested in speaking with Mr. Cohen again, since it appears that the testimony that he gave us previously was, in fact, false. So I'm sure the appropriate uh, committees, particularly intelligence, um, justice, as well as oversight and government reform, will be hearing from him again. Finally, I want to ask you about this news. Uh, you have announced there have been three grants, uh, three FEMA grants, mm -hmm totaling $72 million to rebuild the U.S. Virgin Islands after obvious uh, major damage from Hurricanes Maria and Irma. Right. You know, we're grateful that uh, Congress really stepped up to the plate and supported the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, as well as Florida and Texas and other places that have been hit by disaster. Particularly in the Virgin Islands, we were concerned in rebuilding our infrastructure. We lost hospitals, both of our hospitals, many of our schools. Our children were just getting back to school this October after being out of regular session for over a year. Part of that was because of the underfunding that the Virgin Islands had received from the federal government in the past that really kind of made our infrastructure very precarious and very fragile before the storms. So so we uh, are grateful that this Congress, as well as the administration, have decided to step up to the plate and really create a much more resilient environment for us with our infrastructure so that we'll be able to withstand, God forbid, another yeah. hurricane or natural our, disaster. Our best to, all, to you and all those still so recovering much. from those hurricanes. Thank you yes. for coming on the program this morning, Congresswoman. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Waiting to see the president in Argentina. We're keeping an eye on that. Also, we're watching this. One of the few places you'll see many senior defense.